Happy Avi 5, Imagine and Shape. We're gonna see how we can merge these two planes over here. So we're gonna see that on the inside we're gonna have this cutout. So to get started, I will have those deleted. I will just undo them in order to discuss them. So this is the original one. If I will only hide that, we're gonna have the result. And as you can see, the result will be a single mesh. So this is the final output that we're going for. So to get started, I will select um, the Z and X plane. And over here, I will define a new plane. I will go over here for all elements in order to input the dimensions for this. So within the affinity, I will add the values. So on the X axis, I will want this to be 100 and on the Z axis, 200. Afterwards, I will press escape and I will apply that. Now I will use a face cut in order to add um, those additional geometries. So number of section will be two on this side and on the other side as well. So we're going to have an inner rectangle over here. Now I want to copy this. So I will select the subdivision surface, Control C, Control V to paste it. And we see that the compass is currently not present over here in the, in the right side. So I will just double click on part one. And um, afterwards I enter over here within subdivision, I press escape and we see that the compass has appeared over here. I will make this to snap automatically to the set, uh, second subdivision over here. And I will move this over here. So I will move this all the way to 200 millimeters. If it doesn't snap like this for you, make sure to adjust the increment over here. So I currently have this set to one millimeter. We can also specify the direct value over here. Okay, so we have those two planes over here. Now let's see how we can merge them. So we're going to use the merge tool over here. Keep in mind that within Katia, I always need to select the second one, because if I will want to merge this one, which is the original one, we're going to see that the second one will not be visible. So this is quite... Um, quite a problem so therefore always when you are merging elements keep in mind that you will always need to go from the second one to the first one and on the main problem with the merge tool is that um, this will only work on um, on edges so we see that this is currently set over here to <coughs> extrude mode and to propagate but if i will go to merge uh, mode we're going to see that only edges will be eligible for this merge. So in order to have that shape that um, I previously had, we're going to need to initially do an extrusion. So this is different. We're going to see afterwards with Infusion how easy we can now uh, work over there. So I want an extrusion over here on the first subdivision and on the second as well. So subdivision will be over here. We're going to see that the direction for the extrude will be like that. If I will, um, let's see, if I will hold down uh, Shift Alt, we see that direction won't change. I will just leave it like this. And afterwards, I will edit it and move it inwards. So press space to go to edit mode. Select that face. And um, with the translation tool, I'm going to move it inwards. I'm going to do the same over here as well. So I want this face to be all the way over here. And now in order to merge those, we're going to need to use the erase tool. So I will cut that. The same over here. And we see how many steps we need to take over here. Afterwards in the Fusion, we're going to see how easily we can do the same. This is why Fusion offers, in my opinion, better uh, flexibility and functionality, especially regarding freeform modeling. So we have those two subdivisions. Now we can go and merge those. So from the second one to the first one, we're going to see that uh, they will be merged like this. So we have the propagate, we have the merge mode selected, so we can apply this. But if I will apply this, we're going to see that the subdivision will uh, no longer be visible. So we have over here a yellow warning. I can still uh, make visible the first one. But even if I will try to update this, nothing will happen. So this has some um, some problems. As we can see, not even a local update will uh, fix it. The only way to fix it is to undo this. 
And within the merge, we're going to need to change some uh, parameters over here. So for the merge between those two, I will go for extrude mode in this case. And now I will click OK. And now we're going to have that subdivision well defined. So we see that this will be subdivision 9. OK, so this was Katia. I see that um, this is five minutes long. Let's jump into Fusion and do the same uh, over there. So within Fusion, I will create a new form. I will define a plane. I want the plane to be defined on the same um, plane. So just like within Katia, 200 millimeters by 100. I will click once. Now for the subdivisions, I want this to be again um, divided with 3 by 3. So this will be 3 by 3. We're still going to have the middle, but uh, that is misleading since that won't be added. Now I want to copy this body, so I will select it, move. Now I want this to be moved on the x-axis and create a copy over here. But as you can see, the create copy is not um, available, so I will copy this again. Before you're going to move it, you're going to need to create a copy, 200 millimeters. This will be the second one. And uh, now in order to do that, uh, the same bridge, we're just going to need over here to go on bridge side one side two and now we can define how many sections do we want so currently this set to three sections in katia we had four over here so if we want to match that i'm just going to click four and we're going to have the same surface defined so as you can see this is a lot faster and this is one of the reason why uh, i prefer fusion okay so i hope that you find this uh, video useful I will position a similar video on the left over here. I will add my comparison between Fusion and Katia over here at the top, and I will also add the subscribe button. So also consider to, um, to comment and like if you enjoy this kind of content. That's it. Thanks for watching.